This is AIM Agenda. With me now, the Shadow Immigration Minister, Richard Miles. Uh, Mr Miles, your thoughts on the Prime Minister's comments relating to remote communities and the reaction this morning from Mick Gooder and others? Well, this is a, a complex issue, how you deal with remote communities, and it's been grappled with by governments of all persuasions at a state and a federal level. But one thing that doesn't help uh, is to come up with a comment which seeks to deny people's identity and connection with their own home by describing people living where they come from as being a lifestyle choice. I mean, I don't see how that possibly can help shape this debate or move this very difficult conversation along when you are describing where people come from and their decision to stay at home as being a lifestyle choice. It obviously is fundamental to how we deal with these issues, how you do balance the, uh, the provision of services with where people live and their sense of identity with that place. Um, these comments don't help. Do, do you, what, okay, well then what's your reaction to suggestions that this is just common sense from the Prime Minister when he says things like uh, if you want to close the gap you've got to get the kids to school, the, adult, uh, the adults to work and you've got to ensure that communities are safe and in order to get kids to school and adults to work. He's saying that uh, you know essentially if we want to meet these targets that, uh, that some of these choices or you know, lo locations where people live just uh, it's not realistic to enable government to help them achieve that. Well, of course you've got to get kids to school and of course you've got to get adults to work. Uh, that's really important in closing the gap. But it's not common sense to start dictating um, where people's home is. Um, it, it, we're talking about places, which as Mick Gooder said, that people have been living in for generations. It's where they come from. It is their place of connection. It's at, at the core of their identity. Um, and so it's not common sense to be able to say that you can just rule a line through all of that and somehow on the basis of that come up with the solution, which does answer the question around the provision of schools and the provision of employment. At the end of the day, people are entitled to live where they do. Um, and at the end of the day, people's identity and their connection with their home is central to any outcome here. And actually, I think it is, it, it is the opposite of playing common sense to seek to deny that.